Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Controllify so you can have your controller working on Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you wanna do is go to your search bar and search up mod Rinf, like so. From there, you should see modernf.com here, just click on modernf, and this will bring you to the modern home page. Here, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go on search mods, and you want to type in control of fire. And once you do this, you should see control of fire here, just click the name, and now all you want to do is go to versions, and from there, you want to go to game versions, and select 1.21.5. And from there, you have a couple of versions. In most cases, you're just going to download the latest one here they have. For Fabric, we'll be using Fabric for 1.21.5. So just click the green download button. And from there, all you want to do is click the version name here. And this will bring you to this page. So all you want to do here is scroll down and you'll see dependencies. So you have to download all these as well. So what this means is that you have to click on yet another conflict label here. From there you have to go on versions. And now you have to go to game versions and select 1.21.5. And you want to download the fabric version as we also got control 5 for fabric. So click the green down button. And now all you want to do is go back to control 5 dependencies page by going up and just going back to the previous pages. Here we see that we have fabric API. You need to do the same thing, fabric API versions, game versions, 1.2.5, and download the one for that version. And once you do this, all you want to do is go back again, and here you should see mod menu. So just click on mod menu, go to versions, go to game versions, and click 1.2.5. And here, just get the latest one. And here you should have everything you need to get Controlify to work. Although, you do need Fabric to run Fabric mods. So you need to go to a new tab and search up Fabric Minecraft, like so. From there, you should see FabricMC.net here. Just click Fabric here, the uh, website link. The Fabric homepage here. So just click the blue download button here. And click the blue download for Windows button here. And from there, you should see Fabric Installer. So all you want to do here is close your web browser once you're done. You want to go to your File Explorer, and then you want to go to your Downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is double-click the Fabric Installer. It should open up like this, and here you should select 1.25 by default. And once you have everything, just do Install, OK, and Close. Once you're done, you can open up the Minecraft Launcher. And with the Minecraft Launcher, we will have to add the four mods to the mods folder. So basically, here we see that we have Fabric Loader here, so that means we're all good. And we can go to the Installations tab here on the top, want to click that. Here you should see Fabric Loader, hover over it and go to the folder icon here. And from there, all you want to do is go to Mods, you should see Mods here. Just double click the folder, it should be like that. And once you're done, you can go to Downloads, you can select the four mods and copy them. From there, you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to the BS folder and click Paste. And you're done. So here we have Dark Minecraft mods and all the mods you need to get Controlify to work. So that means we can go to the Minecraft Launcher, we can go to Play, make sure Fabric Clodo is selected, and click Play. Okay. So, once we have this, it is going to ask us if we want to download the Control File native library. Why not? So we can just do yes. This just downloads that. All good. And from there, all you want to do here, for example, is go to a single player world or a server or a realm. This is a bit client side, so this will work. But basically, once you're in a world, you can go ahead and go to Escape. You can go to Options. And from there, you can go to controls 
and here you'll see controller settings. So of course I don't have a controller connected to my computer but if you had a controller it's very easy. Basically what you want to do here is two things. Number one you want to go ahead and connect your controller so you want to go to your menu here for your connections you can go to Bluetooth for example and you can do more Bluetooth settings. Now you should be able to know how to basically add a controller to your computer but basically what we want to know here is just go to add device and here we can see we have Bluetooth here we can see controllers so there is ways to connect your controllers using this tab right here and you'll know that your controller is connected if you're able to select different apps like this if you're able to control your computer with a controller connected to your, your device it will show up here and you will be able to edit the controller as well but basically here we have different settings you can of course change but you will have another menu once it detects a controller connected to your computer but basically for this video that is how you download and install controlify to your device so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye